beginning, there was sand. And in the sand, Conan exiles left footprints of epic proportions. Though the road through development was long, with huge tracts of land. Now, the exiled lands have more than doubled their original size and is no longer a mere sandbox. The Frozen North update added snowy peaks and fertile highlands, and at launch, the humid swamp and smoldering volcano are introduced. With such a large-scale world, traversing it can be time-consuming. But if you are able to find the recipe to construct the map room, you can fast travel to certain waypoints located around the world. Perhaps you'll visit Sepemaru, the relic hunter city to the west, which is now a mostly harmless trading hub where players can come to barter, or perhaps strike up a conversation with the locals over a pina colada. With a fully dynamic weather system, there is a chance you might get caught in the rain, snow, or deadly sandstorms. But if you have half a brain, you'll avoid frostbite or sunstroke by dressing appropriately for your surroundings. The world is filled with dangerous monsters and other humans, as well as challenging world bosses and deadly dungeons. These dungeons are designed to test you and reward those who show strength, intellect, and resourcefulness with items and lore you won't find anywhere else. Combat in Conan Exiles has gone from simple strikes to a grand set of combos with light and heavy attacks and unique moves for each weapon type. And with improvements to artificial intelligence, mastering your moveset and stamina is critical. These improvements also apply to the thralls you capture, making them highly effective guards for your base. Milestone bonuses have been added to perks and attributes, and players can buff their stats with war paints, potions, and armor modifications. There are now hundreds of weapons and armor pieces in the game, which are customizable through color dyes and modification kits. And there are hundreds of building blocks in different tiers and styles for you to enjoy, including crafting and cooking stations, grow beds, and decorative items for the castle of your dreams and your enemy's nightmares. To penetrate the defenses of a player's fortress, siege weapons were introduced in the form of trebuchets, which can give you the upper hand as both attacker and defender, particularly if your enemy has been able to summon an avatar to tear down your walls. With the ability for players to climb any structure or cliff face in the game, necessary defenses like siege cauldrons and crenellated walls were added. And should the enemy somehow be able to sneak their way in, there is always the option of blowing them up in your personal minefield. Defensive construction is not just against other players, as the creatures of the land also rise against you to drive you from their territories. <laughs> 